Hey what's up guys, today I'm gonna be showing you on how to update your PS3 hand jailbreak. But before we start this video, you're gonna need a USB drive, I recommend at least 2 gigabytes, a PS3 controller, the console and a computer. It doesn't matter if it's a Windows PC or a Mac. So let's get started. So the first thing that I will be showing you is that my version is in fact 4.90. So as you can see it's 4.90 because this console is sitting for a long time. I haven't updated so today we're going to update which is in the making of this video the latest version is 4.91 and that's what we are going to be updating so we're back at the Mac and don't worry guys the process is the same on the PC it's a little different with formatting the USB but it's the same so now we just plug in our USB drive and go to Spotlight Search. Here's no name and type Disk Utility. And also, it's not recommended for it to be 64 gigabytes or above. And also 32 gigabytes because they don't support at 32 and that's the format that we are gonna be needing so here we select no name which is my USB and go erase and you need to select MS-DOS FAT32 for this to work and I'm just gonna name mine PS3 USB like that and hit erase and also be sure to back up all of your data before you format the USB because there's no going back from that okay we successfully format it now open your browser and type HFW uh, 4.9 90 one okay so you want to pick the one from PS 6 place over here and now we're gonna have to choose this one this is the update file it might say that it's a potential risk but just ignore that it's completely safe okay so it's downloading this might take a bit but while we wait for this let's go inside of the USB create a new folder it's gonna be called PS3 go into that create another folder called updates like that and here we're gonna have to put the ps3 updates.pub file I'm just gonna wait for it to download real quick Okay, so it looks like it downloaded. Now from the downloads, we're just gonna drag and drop it right here. But it needs to be named exactly. We're gonna delete all this HFW thing from the name. And we're just gonna leave PS3 of that in the name. Because if you if we don't do that, that's gonna confuse the PS3 and not read it. 
so select this and delete all the other stuff just this and we eject and that's it for this section I'll see you over at the PS3 back at the PS3 you're gonna want to plug in the USB drive at the rightmost USB port of the PS3 doesn't matter if it's slim, fat, super slim, rightmost USB port because that's the 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 development port of the system. So it's plugged in, and we go to system. We go to update. Update via storage media, and we can see that it's detected it. And now we just have to wait for the updates. We just click on accept, start, and we wait. It might reset a few times, don't worry about it, you just need to wait. So it's done updating and also I forgot to tell you if it doesn't appear in the update menu and settings don't worry about it you just need to hold the power button for two continuous beeps until you hear those then you're gonna be in the safe mode and you can update from there if it's not visible which I'm gonna do right now so you start holding like this okay so we are successfully in safe mode so you now need to connect your controller with a USB cable because safe mode technically means that it's using minimum requirements that's why it's in a very bad resolution so I've connected my controller and here's an option system update it's connected so you need to press start and select and remember guys right most USB port and now we just wait for it to find it ok so it's done updating again and now it's gonna prompt you with the HDMI stuff just press yes And yes, but it's not over yet. You now need to go to ps3exploit.com. Go to your browser and go here. And if you have a bookmark, you can just go to the auto installer. It's basically you jailbreaking it a second time. That's what it's about. So now you just wait for this stuff. It might fail a few times, but keep trying, and it will eventually work. So right now I got lucky, and it happened at the first try. Because normally I have kind of trouble with hand on this PS3. And sadly, 
it doesn't support CFW. So we just need to wait for this. And that's it. Your PS3 is updated successfully. It might restart a few times before it loads up, but that's not a problem. Yeah, it says preparing for a reboot. Don't worry about that. You just need to reboot it. It's gonna reboot itself. And we can see the hen logo in the corner. And we can see the enable hen again, which is a good sign. I don't know if on every PS3 is this bad, but on this one it doesn't load up every time we can see that hen is successfully enabled and if we go down in settings in system info we can see version 4.91 we successfully updated this PS3 jailbreak and thank you guys so much for watching if you have any issues, you can leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video.